Hello and welcome on in to Alan Wake Remastered. This is going to be episode two. We just completed the intro and I'm very intrigued with the setup of the game. We've got to go find Alan's wife and I'm interested to see, like they, they keep mentioning like dreams and everything's kind of strange and there's like zombie people and I feel like something is definitely going on here, but I don't exactly know what. So cool, unique gameplay and a very interesting story. Let's hop back into it. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Yeah, okay, so that... It seems like that wasn't even, like, the cabin that we were supposed to be at. Okay, so now, now we're going back three years ago. Okay, so I, I think we're gonna get a little more context. On at least, like, the characters, if not, like, what's going on. Let's see. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. I feel like it looked like Todd you Howard for a second. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. <laughs> um, coffee. So is that our wife? Are we like not missing? Cool. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Oh. Looks like I go in here. These look really good. Oh, sure. Oh, the cardboard cut out. Hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. Ooh. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. Okay, so we got to check the fuse box. The lights just went out. What's going on here? It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors wake. again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye, 13 years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. My revenge. What? I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Okay, I'm going. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Oh, good. We've got the flashlight Hi. again. You Hi. Okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. 
Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Romantic. Okay, so they're very happy. Like, that's the main thing that it's showing us. Like, they had their plans, they were working together. She was involved in his things. Okay, hmm. so we're back to present day. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Um, Thanks. Well, wife, though. Where's wife? Wife. Well, then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. What's her name? Alice. If Alice. If pain gets any worse <laughs> or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. What's with the fish I'll let on you the get table? On with it, then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. Who? She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Who does Doc that? Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think I can get over the, the fish in the middle of the sheriff's office, just, just on the table, just on a piece of newspaper. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Okay, that's... Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that, coming from <laughs> an old fridge? fisherman like me. No. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after, if you prefer a little... Do you not have a cooler? Now, if you want either <laughs> trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Okay, yeah, sure. Like, why not just... Like... Why is there a fish on the table? Why did he not have a cooler or something for it if he was planning on bringing fish home? I have many questions I for him. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Down the corridor. Okay, this way... Sarah. Yes. Thank you for keeping me awake. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Okay, her voice is reminding me of someone in, like, the Barbie games I used to play. Like, I don't think she was Your Barbie, but I want to say she was someone in a Barbie game. Could be entirely wrong, but she at least sounds similar. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Excuse me? Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't Mr. do nothing Ray, can stupid, I help you with anything? For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey. Wake. You can get there through hey. the cell corridor. I need more light in here. God. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan more here. Light. I'm at Stucky's gas station. I don't station like with the Thornton. goddamn no shadows in here. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. Yeah, this is Thornton. Great I don't want to be alone in here. That's some good news, right? Hey. Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Hey. Sounds like Brenuin. Hey, hey, you from Skyrim. Light. Or, you know. On. The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Is it him they or maybe someone else? I don't know. I, I need it to be bright in here. Need it to be bright in here? You want the lights on. That looks like a light switch. Thank there you go. You, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're 
good guy. Don't let anybody tell you. The early morning Thank light you. hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Go through the fence on the left. Okay, so this is the right. It's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. You know, had a few broken windows. Even Radios are interesting. On Main Street. Worth waiting. Had these Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks... We get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Hmm. That's where we're going. I also saw a page out there. Let's see if we can find that. Um, how do I get back there? The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Can I go over that? Hmm. How do I get over this stupid? Okay, it's, it's gotta be right here. Yeah, let me over. Thank you. Here we go. Grab the manuscript. Oh, I missed one. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, go back? force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Trucifer, thank you so much for the three month sub. Appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the streams here, the community, and uh, thanks for being a great part of it. Sorry, guys, the alerts are down again tonight. I may have to migrate our alerts or something here. We, we will see. Um, unfortunate. <laughs> town is similar to the town you lived in for college in Columbia. Mm. Definitely different than some places I've been. Really pretty. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Weird. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Yeah, I guess it's kind of too risky to like let the sheriff know what's happening if they are onto this much. Probably not a good idea. Anything over here? See if I can maybe find that other page I missed somewhere. There it is. Can pick it up. There we go. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one inhuman. spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay. Weird. Is there something behind the fence? Is there something else back there? I got the the manuscript. Was there something else? The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into Why the dark. Why is that us? Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Mom. 
marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black a dress. Figure. A thin she woman lowered the camera and looked again. A black dress. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human shaped. Uh huh, I'm sure it was she nothing. Shook her head yeah. And laughed. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins oh. at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Ooh, oh, okay. Oh Take it easy. Oh. Why did he hey, just punch nobody him? nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels Barry. won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Yikes. Okay. All right, Alan. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. <laughs> I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Goodbye. Who's Max? <laughs> what an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. <laughs> what, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Yeah, what no. is going on here? Look, hmm. Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Is that a dog? Oh, is that Toby? Wait, how do I... This way? Here we go. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Oh hey, my. Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. <laughs> okay, Bucktooth sure. Charlie. What happened? Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Um, yeah, you stay there. Hang on. 
Gotta help this guy while he's I helping this his dog. Form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, so you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your Look, eyes on the Al, radio map. You're asking right me to there. believe that you shot a dude who went boop, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their points, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? <laughs> if there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna cut him off. Happy I let him talk at least that much. <laughs> Just crazy talk, Al. Al? Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, oh, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. Oh he said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Why are you sneezing so much? Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Okay. Let's see. Okay, nothing else to grab. Let's get out of here. Every time I look at these, I just keep thinking of like a, a green herb from Resident Evil. I want I want to use it, craft it, heal with it. But no. I'll be healing the light. That's kind of cool, too. <laughs> I really can't complain about that. Pick up manuscript page. What do we got? Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode. And was now totally disconnected from reality. That's Barry's perspective. It the shit out of Barry. Yeah, Barry's terrified. He's like, what is this? Use? Can I take the car? Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor mm -hmm. center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. Why? These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if this is... The best idea, but... It is an idea. Can we go in here? Yeah, we can. Welcome back Kinda to the dark. show, folks. As promised, our there very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deerfest plan like? My plan? Deerfest. Sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. Oh. That was kind of scary. That, you know. oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us okay, yeah, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Uh, mm -mm. Not gonna go try to find whoever that was. Or whatever that was. I... Not interested. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. At all. Anything here, maybe? Okay. 
kick. Oh good. Oh good. Yeah, there's a bunch of crows. That light switch is not gonna work. Oh good, there's a creepy TV. And no electricity, but it's still gonna work. Yeah, awesome. That makes so much crime and punishment. What's happening here? This is some something's happening in his head or something. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in night springs. Keep, a, keep an eye on my back. Tonight's episode. The man in the mirror. Man in the mirror. Okay. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really throws, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But what? what? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. Didn't like I his mean, face? There's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? It's a lot of feathers falling. Screaming. Am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? What? You shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see what? an agent. Maybe in the mirror. Ooh. Okay, goodbye. See you never. Get me out of here. <sighs> yeah, fun watch party. Hey, Noven Rider, welcome. Bubber, maybe it's happening in my head. Uh, uh, <laughs> you see it too, right? <laughs> so there's a light down there. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down there. Was there anything to grab up here real quick though? Let me check. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely gonna be a page. There we go. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, Rose and made her Rusty? smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Trippy. Is this like a detective game? Not exactly, but it has like, it, it's kind of a mystery sort of game. Um, with a story that we're like following along. And it's also scary. What's this one? Rusty dying? The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Uh, Rusty's eyes were wild with fear what? and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, the guy we were it happened to help, just right? the way it was on that page. Uh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh! The vision left me weak. This was no head injury.
Can I help him? Help! Help me! I'm trying! Can you hear me? Anyone? Hello, I see Please you! Help. Back here. How can I help? I'm back here. Hey. Hello? Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Okay, get the lights on. Was there anything I can grab in here? No. All right, let me go back here. Um, lights. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Power running lights back on. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across Poor the lobby Rusty. like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Pleasant. Okay. Nothing to find there. Another manuscript page. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Huh. Can't go that way. Can go in here. Thank you. Oh. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. Can I grab that? There was no way to get the lights no. back on. What is that? What is that? Rusty! No! Rusty! Is the dog okay? Rusty, no! The ground was covered with oily patches that Pro looked like liquid darkness. Probably don't touch that. Oh, good. Uh, excuse me? Are you the law? Something. Oh no. A mammoth sized hole in the wall. They're both gone. Uh oh. Please don't feed the animals. What? What? Who said that? Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Thank you. Obey! The park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! Never told you they were 100 yards! Two bears and wolves! Never approach! Any other! Ah! Pets! Us! Feelies! Get off all boys! Never! Leave your pet unattended! It is against the law! To remove any of the objects are historical artifacts from the park! Come 
on. Stop blocking the light. Oh, no, 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 no. He actually got me. go. It's really hard for me to tell when I when I've broken them or not. Okay, I'm getting there. That was a lot of ammo. Ooh, okay. What happened to my shotgun and stuff? Oh, that's in a different time, I guess, or somewhere. Uh well, I guess we don't have that anymore at this point. Okay. So it seems like you use stuff while you have it. There we go. Okay. Let's try and understand a little bit better. We could use some more resources soon, huh? Yeah. Is there a that closes slowly? Okay. It seems like loot a lot of times does not carry over, so shotgun and stuff I had earlier. <laughs> I miss it. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Oh. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Not crazy. Hmm, what does that mean? When they glow and spark and stuff, that's when they're weak and all. Shield their eyes to break the weakening effect, so you have to time it. Yeah, that's what I've been having a hard time with, is they keep, like, walking around like that. I'm like, no, stop it. In that last instant of consciousness, Poor Rusty, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long-dead marriage had been. Oh, my. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh my. What about in here? Very nice. I definitely need that stuff. How am I tonight? Welcome, Kick. Um, I'm doing... Fantastic, actually. I'm enjoying this game a lot, but I'm also a little bit scared. But, like, curious? Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. The far end of the nature trail. Okay, so I think I gotta keep going that way, probably, but what's in here? I like to explore. What's in the weird cave? Maybe some, some resources or something? Like, looking for something yellow to tell me to go over here, but no. Moonshine cave. There we go. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition. Nice. We got some stuff. I was hoping so. It's also very dark and kind of scary. Okay. Let's keep my revolver equipped. Is there a page or anything in here? Mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. Hmm. Fun facts. Well, I'm happy I used the flare in the last time then, because it <laughs> went boom. <laughs> Probably let him recover from running here. Oh. Yeah. Do not feed wildlife. We have been told that by the creepy guys trying to murder us. Oh! A 
I'll be honest, that scared me. It, um, I'm sure you couldn't tell, though. Yeah, it looks like it's just them attempting to shield their eyes. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it actually matters like when you're shooting at them or anything. We're learning. Some of this stuff is a little bit trial and error. All right, well, the phone doesn't work. I got scared. Let's keep going. Lover's Peak. Take our wife on a date up here. Romantic. It looks like that's the way we're supposed to go. So what's over here? More supplies? A page. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated. But she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Hated the fan? Come on. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. She was just excited. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. <laughs> Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay. Anything else back here? I think that was... Probably it. Doesn't seem like they hide things too much, at least yet. We kind of just got to explore the paths and stuff. Um, what's with the noise? Why? Why? Why is it getting scary? Uh, uh, no, no scary. Okay, let me, let me go back to the path. Maybe that will be less scary. I don't really know if it will, but maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Ooh, couldn't see. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm so, 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 so dead. Oh. Whoa. Keep going. Ah. 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 Gotcha. Ah, no. Not like this. Out of ammo. Oh, I should have used the flare gun. Okay, it's fine. I just have to use it now. It's fine. Oh, there's more. There's more? Oh, yeah, there's more. Woo! Okay, I have no more ammo of any kind officially. It's, it's pretty cool. It, it's pretty great, actually. We just need to make it to the light! Light! Light, 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 please! No! I needed to dodge to the side! Ah! Okay, I can do this. I got this this time. Okay, we're gonna use the flares better. Alright. Ooh! Run away from the big guy! Oh, I wasted that, didn't I? Uh-oh, I might die. I might die.
we stop panicking. We start breathing. This is, uh, yeah, are, were you inserted into a communal mind processing thing? So we don't really know. So we just know that this is like a famous like author or something. And he's, he was here on vacation with his wife. Wife is now missing and like there was like weird mysterious things and like some like random old lady like gave him like a key to this cabin that like wasn't there and there's like some strange things going on. We're seeing like weird things on the TV. Like I, I don't know yet. Oh yeah, I can do this. Seems hurt. There we go. Okay, well that was the last of that, but now I still have both of these. Is that something shiny? No. Just keep going, just keep going. Now there's a bunch of them. So now, ooh! when we try to get them to group up here. Okay. Oh, that's not the right way to dodge. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, I'm so screwed. Okay, all right, you know what? That's what we do. Yeah, no thank you. All right, that could have gone better, but it also could have gone much worse. Awesome. Gotcha. All right. Can you tell I'm focused? All right. Okay, so here's the thing. I may actually want to just use the flare here on them. And then I don't have to waste all that ammo. And then I could just kind of casually keep moving on down here. Until you, no, you're not gonna let me go, are ya? All right, doing better. Way to do that. All right, now we have one and one. Woohoo! I wanted to see about maybe going up here. I don't know if that's like possible. Seems kind of like it's not. So I'm just gonna keep going the way that I'm supposed to go. Yep. Which is this way, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run. We're gonna book it on out of here. Try to keep them away from me. Uh, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Oh! Uh-oh, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, everything's fine. We did it in time. <sighs> Checkpoint! That was our hardest spot in the game so far. Oh, it was Leon's, oh no. Oh no. Iconic Leon Kennedy. <laughs> um. Hi, Wake. Alan Wake. This game <laughs> allows you to introduce yourself like James Bond does. I love that. Love that for you. <laughs> Welcome. You played this, right? 
I, I would hope so. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness yeah, of the, the night. Yeah, the torch symbol. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. What does that mean? Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew? And more. Okay. Hi, Kale. Welcome. This game is based on your childhood. Are you okay? <laughs> this is an intense game already. I'm really happy that they're making a sequel. And that the fact that they're making a sequel inspired me to play this. I forgot that I only had one! me to go this way. Can I go this way? I don't think I can go this way. Can I? Sort of. Okay, I gotta go down and around. I gotta go down here. Go. Whoa. Go. Nice. Light. Okay. But now what? Now I guess we go over. Yes. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities Agent revolted him. Agent Nightingale. And he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. Okay. Huh. Veg, welcome. Yes, the, no, this game is... It's intense. It gets scary. It has a way of, like, setting the atmosphere... It's just unsettling. And also, I have no ammo of any kind. Um, so that's scary. I feel like that could squish me if I'm just standing there. I don't I don't know if I want to find out. Let her all welcome. Okay. This looks safe. This is a very good idea for Alan to just stay. <laughs> ah! Yeah, face plant after that. I'm sure. Oh, there's our flashlight. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Um, what? Okay. Someone's helping. Who's this? Is this the agent? Come on, we gotta get moving. Agent Nightingale? Coming. Right? That's my guess. That flashlight's kid stuff. Nah, is it? The flares will keep the bastards away. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's much better. Twin Peaks was an you inspiration. Too? Oh, that's cool. Hell, of course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. That's the way it the story moment, but goes. Then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first hmm. arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake! You better keep up! 
Okay. I need to be breaking them while he shoots them. Come on, over here. Ooh! No, that's bad. Ooh, no! Okay, it's alright. I got this this time. Yeah, but I got this. I lost my gun oh, and there's... There. Okay, yeah. Oh, there we go. Gun. So Just we lost our gun. Well, moment, didn't have ammo then, anyways, so... <laughs> I recognized him. Got good He'd use out of it. He'd been on when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. So he is the kidnapper. There's something up there. He's a flare to start out there. Sir, stop fighting me! There we go. Shoot him. Here, come on. Get him. Woo. Wanted to make sure I didn't use all my flares. Probably could have used one more. But we didn't need to. I do need to keep an eye out on Lower how many speed. batteries I have, right though. These stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency flares. box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Okay. Give me the gun. Yeah. <laughs> no can. He's like, no. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! Oops. No time for back talk. Pull him off, damn it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're in the light. Is he gonna catch up? Yes. Let's go. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Would have been a cool idea for co-op. You know, someone has the gun, someone has the light. That would be pretty cool. I mean, how they're doing it here, even with like using him as your teammate, it's pretty fun. Grab the coffee. What does the coffee do? Does it give me more energy or something? Does it like refill my stamina? This is it, Wake. Mm -hmm. Last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. The Please last stand. As as oh. They keep coming. Lovely. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. <laughs> That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. All right, get with the program. Yeah. Dodge that one. Oh 
wish I knew how long this was gonna go for. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. They're getting onto the platform that way. Come on. Get away from us. There we go. Uh oh. Come on, help me out. There we go. That way. Oh, another? Was he not dead? Uh oh. He must not have been dead. All right. We're good now. Oh, no. No, we're not. Oh, jeez. Stay away from me. I don't know if I should have done this like that. Oh! I have no more flares. That's bad. That's fine, though. No. Come on. Just stay at it. No, don't. Don't take dumb hits. No. There we go. Out of batteries. There we go. Yes. See? Nothing to it. Nothing to it, yeah. Except all of my flares and Let's cut batteries. the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible. Once we get you some, uh, proper editorial control. What? What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript. What? Or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. So I need all this stuff. Do you hear me? So he's Come threatening Alice over the manuscript? He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Okay, so what's this piece of manuscript say? On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light. But something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. I mean, if anything, anything is going to make you afraid of the dark, Probably going through this would do it. All right, across the logs. Okay, and then across. Well, I luckily at least like vaguely know where to go. The pacifist run was fun. Yes, it was. It was a good try. Okay, so I'm not going to walk into the bear trap this time. I feel like that's going to be like a big improvement. I'm just going to follow the path. So I tried to go around and it just it didn't really help me. I'm going to stick to it. So, so far I'm not even being chased. Yet. But that's, that's a... Huge improvement from last time. Haven't done any anything, I guess, to make any noise or attract attention or 
Whatever it is. We got some more stuff here now, too. Nice. Item limit. We love to see that. Sort of. Uh, we go across here, I think. Yes, this is where I was having difficulty. Because they were chasing me. So far, very quiet. Now I get a checkpoint? Why didn't I get a checkpoint? You're the last time! Because I guess I was being chased already. Okay. Oops. I did not dodge in time. Give the battery a second. Much better, much better. Okay, not too quickly. Okay. Yep, there they are. There they are. Awesome. All right, we're doing good on ammo. A box. Now we gotta make it to the generator. Nice and slow and sneaky, quiet. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. Come on. No, I just broke the shield thing and then oh, I fall. How long does it last? I don't have much battery. Is the shield broken or not? Okay, is that... That's ammo! Oh! Okay, worth it. I think, I think it's broken. Yeah, it is still broken. Okay, so it was still broken that whole time. I'm still learning. Alright, let me turn on the light and then search around. the page on the floor. What is that one? The night had been one Chainsaw. desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Uh-oh. Is the chainsaw about to... Is this, is this foreshadowing? <laughs> Uh oh hi joe welcome back thank you so much for the bits i appreciate that i very much wish that the scare alerts were working the alerts were working when i started stream um and then just it's, it's a bit frustrating too because i've been being on stream last few times and i said oh it should be fine it's okay i will make chainsaw sound effects hunting rifle that's new Last time it was the shotgun, so fun. Should be good for a little bit of range, theoretically. Got another thermos. And I guess now we just keep on going. Anything back here? sign when you shine a light at them it's not making the slight screaming noise oh that's a good I call. Heard the call it made no sense plane it was clear that it had just fallen here 
It was very old, and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Weird. Can I go to it? I feel like that's something I should check out. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, basic premise. This is Alan Wake. He's an author. And he came here on vacation with his wife, and, like, just really weird things are happening. We don't really know what the deal is yet. Uh-oh. Hmm. Did that do anything? Wonder if that did anything. Oh no, it looks like I need to put it back. Oops! No, I didn't mean to- mm. That's fine. <laughs> At least we got the flare gun. <laughs> back up here, let me see if I can make it go back. I don't know if I are- if I can. Hmm. Eh, that's fine. I think I got what I needed to. Is there anything like on it? Doesn't look like there's anything on top anyways. All right, let's keep going. The plane was not supposed to be in the finished game. They forgot to take it out. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's something that the developers said? That's funny. Hey guys, how how's it how's it hanging? Didn't dodge that at all. Ah! Come on. Oh my gosh, this gun doesn't hold much ammo. It's scary. Anything over here? Oh, good, more. Ooh, that does big damage. That's fun. I don't want to use my only battery, but I guess I have to. <sighs> Here's some more, I think. Mm, not yet. Let's get that started. Okay, checkpoint. It's good. Um, didn't give me any batteries though, so I'm a little scared. That might be an issue. Quite a big expanse in the woods here. At least we had some checkpoints. Hmm. Ooh! I did not dodge successfully. Again. Good thing we got to that checkpoint. Okay, that was a little bit of a mess. It's all right, it's all right. We're good. Okay, let's make sure we're all reloaded. And I need to make sure that I use the flares if I need to. Like, when there's a few of them, just use the dang flare. I don't necessarily always have all of this loot forever, which I've learned. So, might as well use it. But not too much. It's like the balance, you know? Yeah, the PlayStation Showcase announced a sequel to this game coming out in October. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. I broke this one's shield though. I need to wait for my flashlight to charge up a little bit. Or I need to just get to the light. Might be a just run for the light sort of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Checkpoint. Now let's get up here. Batteries, not ammo right now, actually, but thank you. Cool. Anything? Oop, don't touch that. Manuscript page, what do we got? The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Keep going up. See what's up here. Mm -hmm. A nightmare running is a useful strategy, I would assume. Probably gotta get pretty good at it. <clears throat> that did not work. That did not work at all. I thought I was a genius. I was I was not. Hmm. How do I get across here? Can I put it back down? I don't know how I would, though, with that weight there already. Um, how do I do this? Everything is going according to plan. Okay, maybe there's a way, like, up and... Is there a way, like, out here? Yeah, because I remember that... Over there. There's a balcony. Let me go back... Down? See if I can do anything with the thing that fell. No, I'm not sure I can do anything there anymore. So, thoughts? There's this way. You see, like, anything, like, up here that can help me? Uh... Can I jump across? I tried, and I super failed. Do you think I can do it? Let's try again. Oh, I just failed the first time. <laughs> nice. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot... They hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. 
You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Lovely. There, miss. And then a creepy ladder. Cool. The darkness wears her face. Be aware of Widowmakers. Widowmakers. Um, what? There we go. Too bad. How about in here? How do I get in here? Up and over? <gasps> what is this one? Shadows stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. Hmm. Okay, so I think I can go this way. And I can go over here. Batteries, please be batteries. Please. Please. Yes. We at least got two of them. I'll take it. So, we've got up that way. We've also got over here. Let me check this out. See if there's any supplies hidden. Would be pretty cool. Seems like... No. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh! Everything's great. No, I really, really need batteries. Um, has not been giving me all that many, though. I had 20, and so I thought that it wasn't going to be that hard to find them, and then turns out it's certainly not easy. Okay. Here we go. Logging is a hazardous occupation. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Chainsaw alert. 
Uh oh. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah. Get get chainsaw guy out of here. Uh, I'm not I'm not doing that. I, with the dodge right there. Oops, okay. <sighs> Anything here? Hmm. Anything sneaky? Nothing yellow or anything? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, there's another light. Seems much lighter over here. Checkpoint. Oh, how pretty. Ring, ring. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Campgrounds. Anyone want to go camping? I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Out of the woods. For now. Max on revolver ammo again. It's good. Okay, so it looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. I check that out first. I'm assuming it'll let me explore afterwards, but I can never be sure. Sounds creepy in here. Garage keys. A story is not up. a machine oh. that does what you tell it. Probably just a story go back to Barry. is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Weird. Yeah, in the original version, Energizer Batteries was an endorsement. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, that's not funny. Ah! Uh... Goodbye! Let's, let's go. This, this sounds great. Looks like I needed some keys anyways, so everything worked out. I think there was anything else in the other bathroom? I could check out the other one. Okay, before we just go drive away. Yeah, manuscript page. I knew that there had to be one here. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Stumbled into the darkness beyond. Anything in here? Who's gonna attack me? Anyone? Hunting rifle ammo. Nice. Worth coming back. Now, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Anything to see here? Anything to find? I don't think so. Let's go. Oh, am I actually driving? Oh, goody. Oh. Ooh, okay. I don't want to crash the car. 
gonna uh, do my best to only crash into zombies. Uh, trying to find the road. Uh oh, no, I've crashed us. We're stuck. Ah, you can boost the lights. Okay, we're back on track. Everything's great. Yeah, I think we keep going this way. Probably. Okay. Driving mechanics not the super smoothest, but it's pretty good. Come on. Uh-oh. Do I have to get out? Looks like I have to get out now. Can I ram through that? I could try to ram through it. Ooh, I don't think so. I don't think that would work. I don't want to destroy the car. Uh, okay, flare gun ammo. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. True. Hey there, guys. Where'd they go? Did they all die? Oh, good. They all died. Nice. Love that. Instant fight winner. Uh, I think I've already been in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're back here. I see. Um, can I go back in the in the car? No. Can I make it through? Maybe I could. Well, it seems like we're specifically like blocked off right here. Hmm. I don't think we're getting the car through that. <sighs> Onwards. Okay, checkpoint. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. What are you talking I about? Don't... Listen, listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. If you bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, get me. Yes, uh -oh. yes, I, I get you. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. He was willing to wait to have his w wife wait a week to write a manuscript to get her back. Well, I guess he's probably just trying to buy time to figure out what the heck to do here. Probably maybe should have gotten the cops involved, but I also don't know what they would and wouldn't have believed, you know? That's that's a tough one. Make sure all of our guns are reloaded. All right, Barry, we're here. Ow! Ow! I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. How do I... Okay. Oh. Oh! Whoa. Defeat the birds? Okay. Okay, so I feel like... Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Okay. 
Okay, hang on. I'm figuring this out. So I need to, like, have them, like, charge at me. Where are they? So I think I just need to, like, break their shields or something? I don't know. Okay, so that does take out a couple of them. Weird. Okay, I don't think I need to be shooting that much. Thank you so much for the Prime sub! Narcissism, thank you so much! Ah! Hope you enjoyed the stream. Shoot, shoot, they're ripping me apart because I'm not using the batteries. I'm gonna use my flare gun. No, the flare gun, hang on. There we go, there we go. That's working. There we go, okay. Woo! Figured it out. Hey, Al, I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's okay, it's understandable. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant well, she girl. Sounded weird. You and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Yeah, what's wrong here? Welcome, Welcome to, to the old year diner. Good girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's the creepy lady who gave the keys, who apparently has control over Rose. She wasn't even at the diner. Huh. All right. End of episode two. What a game. What an episode. All right. That's all licensed music. I know. It's okay. All right. I need a quick break. Um, after that, that was intense. And wow. Okay. All right, guys. Ah. That was really fun. Thank you for joining me uh, for a, another segment of Alan Wake. This has been great to play through already. I just need a, a quick uh, little break and we're going to come back and keep going with probably like one more episode tonight. And that is going to be our evening. So fun stuff. Give me just a moment and I'll be RB. <laughs> <laughs> 